Hey, Scott, what's the reason for Christmas? I don't know. <laughs> Why is Christmas so gosh darn tiring? Gifts for every family member, even the ones we don't like. Monthly budgets out the window and out of the question. Christmas parties, cookies, shopping. The need to plan every single second in December for celebrating the reason for the season. Wait, what was that reason again? Christmas movies. Yes, the ones we don't like. Yet convince ourselves that we must during this time of the year. I mean, after all, Christmas only happens once a year. Office Christmas parties, end of the year meetings, family plans, doing Christmas over and over again with different segments of families, different sides of the family. Friend plans, Christmas caroling, Christmas light watching, paying to go watch Christmas lights. Oh yeah, Christmas music. Lots of it. Already. Cakes, pies, and a list of other items where we cannot fathom how a person allowed that much sugar into their recipe. Dry turkey. Okay, I'm sounding a little bit bah humbug. Maybe you're like me. You don't always feel this way, but for some reason, this year, you do. And not because you don't like celebrating the birth of Jesus. In fact, maybe because you really do and really want to. It's okay to celebrate Christmas differently. Simply. Filled with more family Bible studies and less gifts under the tree. Music filled with the message of the incarnate Christ, rather than all the details of a fantasy Christmas day that exists well outside of the normal Texas December weather. Let me encourage you with this. Colossians chapter 2, verses 7 through 10. Having been firmly rooted and now being built up in Him and established in your faith, just as you were instructed and overflowing with gratitude, See to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception, according to the tradition of men, according to the elementary principles of the world, rather than according to Christ. For in him all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form, and in him you have been made complete, and he is the head over all rule and authority. Colossians chapter 2, verses 7 through 10. Hey, Shane. What's the reason for Christmas? Gifts. Samuel, what is the reason for Christmas? Uh, well, people do give gifts to each other, which is nice, but the real reason is Jesus is birth. Mm -hmm.